We're talking about bus driving. More high-tech, clean diesel buses will be transporting riders all around the city through interactive traffic lights with real-time arrivals. Sounds too good to be true, but here now to explain how this is all happening and at what cost, MDOT MTA Administrator Kevin Quinn. Thank you so much for coming in. Hey, thanks for having me. We were just talking about a uh, contest that just happened with drivers. We'll get to that in just a little bit, but yeah. let's talk about these buses. I was reading a little bit more about the new buses that we're getting. There's an $81 million contract that came out to get buses. Yeah. But in that, high tech is basically you can slow down red lights or speed them up depending on how to keep the flow of traffic moving along. So, so the contract is for $140 million. Gets us, uh, okay. I'm sorry, $80 million gets us 140 buses. Okay. What's really important about these, these are clean diesel buses that are replacing old dirty diesel buses that we still have out on the road. So when you're out driving around and you see some of those really old buses that are putting out black the big smoke, black plume of smoke black plume every of time smoke, they shut up, yep. this gets rid of those buses. Okay. And so it's a really important upgrade for our fleet that uh, gives our riders a much better experience and, and folks out on the road that, you know, emissions, particulates, right. all that kind of stuff. That goes away a lot with this bus replacement. Uh, that's the one that there. Now, I know security's always been a big deal on, on the buses and around the buses with cameras there. But this interaction, though, with lights to keep yeah. things flowing, I guess, is that's something new. I know yeah. a lot of police forces use that, but I never knew that transportation would start using that. Yeah, really cool technology. So uh, what, we, what we've done is we've out, uh, outfitted about a third of our fleet with a transit signal priority. And what it is, it's essentially kind of a hockey puck that uh, communicates with traffic signals. And so as a bus approaches uh, the traffic signal, it can kind of talk to the bus. Right. And it can help the bus get through that intersection by either lengthening uh, the green light or shortening a red light so a bus can leave an intersection. And we're not talking about somebody else that's like going through, oh, a bus is coming and now I have to sit through three no. light changes. This is yeah. just a little bit, a few seconds one way or the other it, if they're close. That's right. And it's yeah. not at every intersection. It's just those where you see benefit. And the reports uh, that we're starting to get back on benefit is showing about a 20% travel time time reduction, okay. which is uh, huge for uh, those corridors where we're installing it. And then that helps people that are sitting at a bus stop not knowing, okay, well, this bus normally is here 10 minutes ago, where yeah. is it? At least now you're getting real-time arrivals? Yeah, so uh, we've also installed real-time uh, uh, technology uh, at real-time signs at a number of our stations where you're exactly right. Folks can see exactly when that bus is going to come. There are a lot of times that I'm downtown and a lot of people, if you've ever been downtown, you know yeah. when you see a bus come around the corner, you're like, it's going to hit this, it's going to hit that corner, and they don't and they miss it and they move around kind of quick sometimes you're going man how did they do that you have contests every year to find out the best bus driver it's the rodeo the rodeo yeah. yeah a rodeo but on that and this year you actually had some history with you. yeah so since 1980 the mta has held a, a bus competition a bus rodeo and this is something that transit agencies do really across the country across right. the world really and so for the first time in mta history we had our, our first female operator leslie hawkins who won the bus rodeo and so she's been a bus operator for 20 years Biggest smile you've ever seen, uh, and fantastic operator. Uh, we're, amazing we're showing the video skills. right there next to you. Yeah, 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 she is great. She's fantastic, and we're so proud of her. And so she's going to go on to represent the MTA in Tampa yeah. in, uh, next uh, May in the international bus competition. So this is a timed event. You get, and luckily there's just cones out there. But it's it, this is what I remember of like the Brady Bunch yeah. when Marsha versus Greg was backing over and hit the egg. I don't sure. know. I'm showing my age there, but this is with a bus though, and there's no there's cameras on them, but there's no beeping to let you know you're about to hit something you're backing up. That's right. There's there's cones, there's uh, different technical aspects, but our operators are also yeah. judged on the appearance of their uniform, how courteous they are, announcing the stops. Right. You know, it's not just the technical piece because uh, customer service is really number one for us. And so uh, between, you know, safety yeah. uh, and being sure they're technically uh, adept at this and hitting all those pieces, it's it's a fantastic event. We're how, so proud how of did you do in that contest yourself? Because I know you said you were driving the buses. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to comment on that. Let's just say win. I'm going to keep my day win. job. They should keep their uh, day job. I should keep <laughs> Mine. They were Thank fantastic. you very much, MTA Administrator yeah. Kevin Quinn right there. Jonathan.